With great power comes great responsibilities. And with great stardom comes great undue pressure. If a film becomes a hit, the whole team reaps the benefits and shares the glory. But the moment a film tanks, the lead actor is asked to carry the burden. More recently, filmmaker Vivek Agnihotri made a statement on Twitter, a big one. He said that Bollywood is in a bad shape because the entire industry is paying huge fees to big stars who can't even guarantee a good opening but charge that kind of money just to feed their vanity and splurge on their lifestyle. He was, of course, referring to movies like Shehzada and Tu Jhuti Main Makar, jiske heroes bade stars hone ke baabujud kuch khas kamal nahi dikha paaye box office pe. Isse pehle, Bhushan Kumar had also said that there are some stars who refuse to budge when it comes to their high fees, owing to which they don't work with them. Or unse bhi pehle, Karan Johar had said that some stars are delusional and that they should not ask for a price they cannot justify at the box office. Fair enough, koi bhi producer films charity ke liye nahi banata. Koi actor bhi charity ke liye film nahi karta. They all want a good Friday. Lekin, when a film like an RRR or a Three Idiots does very well, sari tarifein directors le jate hain. But, why is it that when a big budget film bombs, suddenly main hero, main villain ban jata hai? Well, to a certain extent, we agree with their views. Stars are a big part of a film. A lot rides on them. But what we need to understand here is that they are not the only part of the film. There are writers, there are cinematographers, there are musicians, there are producers, directors, editors. A lot goes into making or breaking a film. It depends on every individual to play their part well. Not just the actors. They are just doing what they are told at the end of the day. Aise mein, sara ilzaam stars ke sarhi kyun? It's like that saying, success has many fathers, but a failure is an orphan. No matter how big or experienced a star is, they can never predict the outcome of their next film. Agar unki pichli film ne box office par achhi kamai ki hai, to zahir si baat hai, they would also want to ride the high wave of success. Which is why lowering their fees might not seem like a very good idea. Because it might just affect their overall market brand value. But that's a whole different debate for another day. But we do agree that for art's sake, sometimes stars should do a film not for the sake of money, but for the sake of good content. Agar khabar ye aai thi that Kartik Aryan was paid 20 crore for just 10 days shoot for Dhamaka, to ye bhi khabar thi how Kartik had given up his fees and had stepped in as co-producer to minimize Shehzada's losses. All we are saying is, credit should be given where credit is due, but the blame should also be divided equally. Do you think the big money that these stars charge is justified? Let us know in the comments and do subscribe to Shosha for everything entertainment.